Well, tomorrow night you are invited to downtown Bryan to help celebrate the 10 year anniversary of the Brazos Valley African American Museum. News 3's Whitney Miller visited with the folks there as they prep for the big event and reflect on their rich history. I was very surprised <laughs> that we had our own museum. Laura Starr is a senior at Texas A&M studying sociology. For an extra credit assignment, she was charged with exploring local African-American heritage. A Google search led her to the Brazos Valley African-American Museum. You come to this museum, you'll see uh, continent of Africa, parts of uh, this country, and we've made some contributions in most parts of these countries. In the museum on Pruitt and Houston Avenue in Bryan, you'll learn the history of local churches, families, and schools. You'll read about and see photographs of an African-American Bryan high school principal in the 70s, and you'll understand what it meant to grow up black in the Brazos Valley. I've already learned that African-Americans have founded over like 20 churches in the area. When the African-Americans came, there wasn't a church that they were accepted in, so they had to start um, and found their own. Friday, the museum will celebrate 10 years in the community, a chance Oliver Sadbury says to honor those who've offered support over the years and to let the community know they are here. The general public probably doesn't realize that uh, when this area began, uh, about a quarter of the population were African Americans. We have a sort of a vested interest in and what's here. And like Laura Starr, a vested interest in education that she believes can bridge gaps. I mean, getting into like the African American culture, um, I'm able to relate more to these individuals and our beliefs aren't that different. And we were raised um, kind of in the same way. In Bryan, Whitney Miller, News 3. That celebration is set to happen tomorrow night, 7 p.m. in downtown Bryan. It will take place at the Palace Theater. In conjunction with the museum's event, this weekend is also the E.A. Kemp High School reunion. Kemp was the only African-American high school in Brazos County before schools were desegregated during the Civil Rights Movement. That reunion is set to go through Sunday.